sometimes we would wouldn't just study. Like we had really, really serious problems with our power. Like it would go out every, almost every time when there was a glitch in the weather. We couldn't go to study like we were supposed to. Uh, we might spend about two weeks without power, uh, or even a month at times. And there wasn't water because the pumps weren't pumping. Here we are at St. Patrick's School. We are installing a 150 kilowatt uh, solar system. So today we just uh, offloaded the container. The container will be uh, temperature controlled with air cones. So that is the progress today then. Down there we are putting uh, concrete footings where the area structure will be mounted on. Uh, the solar project uh, which uh, is being uh, mounted at our school is going to help us big time. If we've got solar, uh, we know that uh, the electricity will always be around and we'll be able to do uh, most of our experiments as well as probable access to the internet. Uh, these days we know that we have to learn through the uh, internet. So without the internet, uh, we are cut out. And if there's no uh, electricity, uh, our learners will have a water crisis so with this installation, it means they will have a constant supply of water. Like we usually have our study from 6, 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. And when there's no power, we definitely have nothing to use. We cannot do like our practicals using our pieces without the power. The project is almost at 80% now. We managed to erect the structures as well as putting up the panels. We have got 336 panels by 470 watts, as well as 165 kilowatt KVA inverter. This is also a boarding school, so um, I can only imagine now with the solar power, things have improved and they have no lapse in power, so they have hot water, they have Wi-Fi that's coming, and the children are happy. When the solar panels were installed, Power has been great, there hasn't been a power outage since then and meals are being cooked on time and there's always study for the children so it's helping a lot. When power goes we don't really notice the change, it's like instantly. This is not only the backup system that's providing uninterrupted power to the school but it also set to send back access to the national grid through the net metering program. The power bank during the day when the battery has been recharged will be used by the school at night and will reduce the electricity bill a lot. Students are also learning about solar and renewable energy.